Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I am currently off to work, it is 6.15 in the morning, gonna go coach. We have like a mini swim meet this morning, but it's just like an inter-team thing where it's just like the team racing each other for fun. So that's gonna be a little bit longer this morning, and then I think I'm gonna go to a workout after that. And then by the end of that, should be like noon or one o'clock maybe, by the time I'm done all that stuff, and then I'll be hanging out with Alex most of the day, or rather all the day. But I decided to start the video in the car today because she was still asleep when I left, and I didn't wanna wake her up. So I left her the good camera, I'm taking the small one again. So I'm just gonna pick up uh, some breakfast before I go, and then I'll be coaching. And so I'll only see you guys later this afternoon, but I think we'll be doing lots and lots of stuff today. If it's nice out, and if it's not too crowded, we're supposed to do a photo shoot later with Cat Bell. So we'll see if that happens. But it's also, it's Grand Prix weekend this weekend in Montreal, so there's the F1 going on, so it's really crowded downtown, so we might postpone the photo shoot, but we'll see. Hi, can I get an everything bagel with butter and cream cheese? And then a small ice cap, but can I get it with chocolate milk instead of cream? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Yay. And I just realized I need to get gas also, so I'm gonna stop to get some gas. Okay guys, what's up? I'm coming home from work and I wasn't gonna film anything until I got home with Alex, but I just wanted to show you guys, this guy has a massive, massive German flag on the top of his car, look. You guys see that? It looks even better when he's driving. I don't get, is there like something going on today with Germany? Like is it German National Pride Day, June 11th? I don't know, but he's got a huge flag on the top of his car. I just thought that was something interesting I'd show you guys on my drive home. But I'm done work now, so I'm almost at Alex's, and then we're gonna hang out for most of the day, probably do a workout together, stuff like that. But I just thought that flag was really interesting, so I need to film it. So you get a good shot of it right there. You see it? It's just flapping in the wind. Moving on to the new camera, well not new, just like, better. Oh, my new camera is coming in the mail. It came yesterday, but no one was there to collect it. Oh, so, so it's already here. Yeah, they're gonna probably reattempt on Monday. Hopefully, oh, awesome. I'm here to get it. Yeah, because I called the camera store yesterday because they said they were gonna call me that, that week. Oh, yeah. So I called them and I was like, hi, I brought my camera in last week to get a repair. Do you know any updates? She's like, oh yeah, the technician uh, needs to take a look at it. And I was like, okay, well has he? She said, no, I'll call you. I'll call them right now to see, and then I'll call you right back, and then they never called me. Oh. And I was like, okay. That's not a very good company. Pretty annoyed. Well, at least the new one's coming in. Yeah. So that's a good thing. But I'd still like to get the other one repaired so we have yeah. them back up. Yeah, it on auto. Yeah. So, we just went to Urban because I had to return, the, I, did I show you guys the shoes I got? I got a shoe, I got a shoe. I got just, shoes. Just one shoe. Just one shoe. I got a shoe, oh my God. <laughs> He's gonna do it again. I got shoes sent to me from Urban Outfitters online and I'm a size seven in shoes, sometimes six and a half, but with sneakers, especially Adidas, I always go a half a size up because I like them a little bit loose because I can wear like thick socks with them and then when I fly, when your feet like swell up when you're in the air, it like they still fit properly and I love to wear Adidas sneakers when um, I'm traveling because they're so comfortable. So I got a pair sent to me in a size seven and a half. Didn't realize that they were size men, seven and a half. Oh, so they're like huge. So they're so big on me. Because with si with men, I'm like a size five, I think. I think that's what it is, UK five? I'm confused. But they didn't say it was, it was men's sizes and it was in the women's section. So I was like, oh, because typically I knew that Adidas was like, usually like a man size because I just buy men's shoes and then I get them in a smaller size but this one was in the woman section I had never seen shoes like this before so I just figured they were women's shoes nope not women sneaking it by <laughs> you're not sneaky Oops. yeah so I had to return them great thing about urban is that you can buy stuff online and just return it in the store so when I went in I had never done it before so I didn't know how it worked so I just watched the girls like can I return stuff if I bought it online she was like yeah like oh okay that's awesome what do I do and then she just like took the box and she was like oh is it because the size was too big I was like yeah she's like this is happening a lot with these types of shoes I'm like oh okay and then it's cool because they just scan the barcode on the, like the sheet of paper that comes in the mail and then it just directly goes back into your account the money so you don't even need to like show your debit card or credit card or anything so that's really cool I guess um, that makes sense because like what if you paid with PayPal or something right like how would you I don't know so that's why it does it that way yeah, it's cool. And I love Urban because uh, the only issue I don't like with Urban shipping, and it's the same with free people, is that it sh always ships in like separate 
packages. It's never just like one box. Like Revolve clothing, you can order any kind of brand and they just like package it together and send it in one box. I don't know if it's because Urban uses different um, warehouses, like some are in Canada, some are in the States. But um, yeah, with Revolve, it's like from one warehouse and they just pack it together and send it right away and I literally get my shipment the next day. Like it's so, so fast. It never gets stuck at customs. It's the quickest thing ever. I wish like every online shop was like that because it would just be so much better. This is like such a first world problem. I know, seriously. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm not complaining. I just, I'm just saying I, I love Revolve so much. There's so much Anyways. traffic downtown right now because it's the Grand Prix weekend. There's no cars, literally. This is the traffic Dan is talking about. Okay, you did not just see what was going on just before this. I was watching, these people wanted to turn. And the reason there's no traffic now is because they're all green lights ahead of us, so all the cars have moved. Oh yeah, they're all green. Red, They were red, green. Red, red. <laughs> they were green and all the cars left. Dan, I love you. I love you too. I saw a comment on the vlog saying, um, I like, I feel like I'm in a relationship with you guys because she watches our videos so much. Yeah. And then she's like, sorry. Then, yeah, she said, sorry, my boyfriend. I don't know <laughs> if that meant like your, your boyfriend right now or like if you have a future boyfriend. Probably boyfriend right now. Ooh. Well, okay. Why would you speed into a red light? It's like my dad. Like, you're going to a red light. Why would you speed? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to show off his muffler. Is that what it's called? When yeah. it makes a noise? Usually it's like a, an extension on the muffler or something. But that's the other thing about the Grand Prix weekend is that there's a lot of people who bring their fancy cars. Yeah, I was gonna show them, but then I was like, you know what? I don't really care about cars, to be honest with you. I really no, I'm not myself. a car person. <laughs> Are you filming? You might think that's a girl. It's actually me. <laughs> <laughs> I recently figured out how to twerk. I used to think it was just like this, like just like back Ew, and forth. Ew, Dan, don't thrust in the camera. But then I realized you have to like... Okay. This is inappropriate. <laughs> so Dan and I decided to mow my lawn. Well, I mowed the lawn and then he did the trimmings, but it ran out of battery, so now it's like half done. I mowed the whole lawn, but I didn't um, I didn't do the trimmings. I'm missing just that part now, and then a little bit on the way to the back. Oh well. Your feet are full of uh, grass. By the way, that's my dad's Corvette that has a cover on it. Nice. <laughs> Full of dirt and grass. I'm gonna go clean my flip flops. Oh yeah, they got all stained. Aww. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna go in. Alex is surrounded by puppies. They're so tired from sleeping all day. So tired, eh, Fabio? Oh, he looks dead. It's so sad about Christina Grimmie. Yeah, that's crazy. We're on the swings. Oh my god. This is actually really hard to do with one hand. <laughs> Look, Alex is swinging. Whee! Oh my god, I'm going, I'm going crooked because I'm trying to do this with one hand. What? <laughs> it's so hard to keep you in frame. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna concentrate on going higher. <sighs> oh my hair's in my face. I feel like this is the worst view ever because I'm like going in and out of my face. Here, take the camera. Wait, <gasps> Grab it, grab it. <laughs> Okay, now I can nice shoes. Thanks. <laughs> it looks like feet underneath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it really hurts my butt. <laughs> I told you, and you laughed at me. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going over here. <laughs> Monkey bars. <laughs> so nauseous right now. I'm such a baby. Let's go rock climbing. <laughs> oh my god, you almost fell. <laughs> nice butt. I made it. I made it. <laughs> Oh my god, careful, babe. To the top. <gasps> oh my god, I literally thought you were gonna fall. I made it. What are you doing? It's so dark. Oh, I thought you were zooming in on me. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> You're doing that on purpose. <gasps> Let's climb this one. You want me to film you? I climb it. Do it. Nice butt. <laughs> I only said that because you said it to me. Are you serious right now? Push. <laughs> you know this is for little kids. I'm scared. <laughs> There's nowhere to grab on top. Do it. What do I do? Go to the top. <gasps> Go higher. How? There's another ledge right there. Where do I stand? I'm scared. Right there. <laughs> okay, come down then. I don't know how. There's bugs all around me. Wait, I'm gonna stand on this. 
You're gonna wipe out. <laughs> no, okay. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes! Monkey bars, go. Ow. Nice. <gasps> <laughs> I'm making fun of you. <laughs> so funny. See, you're supposed to go up. Oh my god, Dan! Onto the top. You're gonna fall. Bad. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Like the whole thing shakes. Hey, stop. You're gonna break it. Yeah, no, it's not made for big people. <laughs> I know. You have to swing across this thing. Oh, I was gonna do something funny, but you fly. <laughs> so funny. Wait, what am I supposed to do? You swing. Or like monkey bars? <laughs> Can't swing yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> You're such a gremlin. You're like Smeagol. I'm like American Ninja Warrior. Oh! <laughs> Actually, I watched that show last night. It was really funny. There was this guy who was like... Because I don't know if you guys ever watched American Ninja Warrior. They're always like really fit. They look like rock climbers. There's this one guy who was like like overweight and he was like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna break the mold and like no one's gonna expect it because I don't look like a typical guy and he did it and the first thing, he had to like hang on something and then it like swung and he just fell right away. <laughs> like after five seconds. Okay, <laughs> stop, I wanna come on. Oh, ow, I just pinched my skin. Good. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're gonna break it, babe. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna fall! Well, you need to hold on, you're just falling sideways. <gasps> oh, my stomach! Oh. <laughs> Ow! Look what just jammed into my stomach. Wait, Look, show this thing. Wait. As we went forward, it went <laughs> right into my stomach. Let me put this, position this so we can go on the seesaw. <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna break my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh my tailbone! What are you crazy? No, you both we both stand and we just go like slowly. Oh my god! Don't jump off! I'm really scared. <laughs> are you actually? Yeah, I don't want to fall on my face. <gasps> Done. So you do it to me. I used to do this as a kid. Wow, so cool, oh my god. Look at all these bugs. I don't think you can see them on camera. They're so annoying. It's those little bugs that fly around in like clumps and they go around your face. He's joking, he just farted and smells bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's um, a rainy day today, but it's not raining at the moment. We decided to come play at the park because we're 10 year olds. We were bored. It's fun though. Mm. Okay, we should play tag or like hide and seek. Hide and seek, oh my god, are you serious? Yeah, and then whoever's hiding takes the camera. No, whoever's looking takes the camera. Okay, so I'm gonna hide first. You're gonna hide first? Yeah, okay. you have to count to 50. Okay. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Ready or not, here I come. All right, let's go find her. Where do we think she is? Uh, I think, I don't know, hmm. Let's go this way first. Let's go over here. I don't know where she went. I can't see her. I feel like she's hiding somewhere that she can see me and she's looking and then she's gonna move. Okay, she's not over here. I don't see her. No, I don't see her over here behind a tree. Hmm. Okay, let's go this way. Maybe she's over here. Maybe she's behind the baseball tent. Or tarp, not tent. I don't see her. She's around the corner. Oh, I see her. <laughs> She's behind the mailbox. <laughs> no, I, I thought you were gonna be over there behind the tarp. No, I was gonna go there. And then I came over here. Dang. Gotcha. Okay, your turn. Go. Okay, I forgot to count, so I think it's been 40 seconds. <laughs> I was just watching the clip, so I'm gonna go look for him now. Hmm. Honestly, I feel like I'm so bad at this. I don't know where to go. My feet hurt. Hmm. Honestly, where does a grown man hide at a park? That just like looks bad. Like, if someone was just like coming to the park and then like saw some man crouching and hiding, 
I feel like that wouldn't look good. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't the smartest idea. Also, we didn't make ground rules of like where you could hide or not. Don't know where to look. Hmm. I wonder if you guys could see him and I can't. Did he climb a tree? Would it be really bad if I just took my shoes and left? <laughs> I don't know where he is. Do you guys see him? Why am I so bad at this? Oh, I see him running. <laughs> Did you see him running by like a freaking alien? <laughs> what a loser. I knew who he was the whole time. I was just kidding. Where were you? Okay, but you can't leave the park. Tell yeah, that's way further than the park. Oh, I didn't know. I thought that you went outside the gate. I at least stayed in the gate. No. But anyways, I was watching you, and then when I saw you go this way, I went behind the fence. What I was gonna try to do is go back to exactly where you started, so you would never guess that. Oh, but then that's you saw funny. Me. So I was looking. When I saw you look at the street, I started running. You literally look like the alien running in like <laughs> scary in like scary movie three. <laughs> I was like saying in the vlog, I'm like, would it be really bad if I just took my shoes and went home? <laughs> You're just like, like hiding gremlin, forever. So I was trying to hide. I don't think I got it on camera, but it was really funny. Uh. <laughs> what the hell kind of hiding spot is I that? I trying to go slow so I can hide under the bench. And then like when I turn around? Yeah. You wouldn't see me because I'd be under. But as I was going, you like stopped counting. I was like, crap. <laughs> she was just standing right behind no, me. I was, like, you know what? You know what's hilarious? What? While I was counting and I had my eyes closed, I was thinking, I'm like, when it's my turn, I'm gonna sit right behind her as she's counting. That's so weird. I was gonna do the exact same thing. Why are we the same? I don't know. Okay, there's bugs like going in I know, this is really annoying. Why is it so bad? Can you guys see them on the camera? I don't know if you could see them. Like, maybe if I film this way? Yeah, there, you saw one go. There's another. There's another. Like they're everywhere and they just follow you like a little cloud. A four leaf? No, just three. That's poison ivy, babe. <gasps> kidding, <not>? kidding. <laughs> Dad's punishment is to get in the baby swing. Punishment for what? Just being. My dad, when I was a kid, and you're supposed to put the kid's legs through the front one because that's how they sit. He put them through like this when I was a baby. I mean, there's not much of a difference. It's just the big, the front ones are bigger. No, because then the other ones you sit. This one, your legs are straight, so you're like standing. So like, he was pushing me, and I was loving it. My mom came and she's like, "Aldo, what are you doing?" And I was like standing straight. My legs oh, were like that's, straight. That sounds fun. I want to try to do that. What? Stand up on the swing. Oh yeah, it is fun. I'm gonna do it too. Oh no, I can't. I don't, I don't fit. <laughs> side to side. Oh, I feel like my, my, my feet bones are gonna break. Your feet bones. Oh, okay, let me stop. <laughs> oh, a stick. I can't stop. Stop. Get out of here. <laughs> no, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you look like a gremlin. Oh my goodness, careful. I love you. I love you too. Mm, no, it's fun. I like being a kid with you. Wait, ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh. yeah. Crack my back. Got a good back crack. Okay, these bugs, man. I'm telling you. I know. I can't believe I wasn't filming this. I like stopped filming right before. I like looked at Dad after I stopped filming, and I was like, "Can't catch me!" And I went to run away, and I twisted my ankle. <laughs> and I was like, and I wasn't even chasing her. I didn't hear her, so I was just standing. <laughs> was like, <laughs> I hate myself. Look at all this delicious food. Sweet potato, corn on the cob, chicken on the barbecue, oh. Mom, you want salad, me to take the coat? regular yeah. potatoes. Mm. I, okay, I'll put it so good. So good. So guys, we're headed to the movies right now. We just finished dinner. You just turned off my favorite song. It's your favorite song. I love that song. I know, but we can listen to it after. Where's your hair right now? Is it messy? No, it's like so clogged. <laughs> but we're gonna go see The Conjuring 2. I feel like I have brownies in my teeth. Yeah, maybe. And if you guys have been following us for a while, 
<laughs> yeah, maybe. If you guys have been following us for a while, either on Alex's channel or on this channel, you, you will know that we love horror movies. And I've been looking forward to this one for a while. I've been trying to avoid spoilers and scenes and stuff. Because The Conjuring 1 was really good. One of my favorite horror movies of, I don't even know what of this recent about. memory. I'm not I think, even saw the trailer. Don't say anything. Go ahead. I don't even want to know. Yeah. I don't want to say anything. I think I know what it's about. But we're going to go to the movie, but I want to show you guys my shirt after when we get out of the car. If you guys have... Chase. Well, if, if you guys follow her Snapchat, you'll see it already. I'm sure they can see it right now. You can see part of it, but you can uh, see the whole thing. So I'll show you after. But look, this is what it looks like. Friends. Friends. <laughs> I like it. You're so cute. <laughs> All right, guys. I have to say, honestly, that movie was probably the scariest movie I've seen in... I don't even know how long. Maybe since Paranormal Activity 1. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the video tomorrow morning when I wake up. The movie was absolutely terrifying, but... Alex is falling asleep, so I'm gonna go to bed too, and we'll finish the video for you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. Alright guys, as we said, today is gonna bring an end to the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys click subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Watching the scary movie last night sort of reminded me that it's important to sometimes push your limits and like test yourself, especially with things you're afraid of. And that's like one of the reasons I love scary movies is that when you go... Like, because you're not in really any danger, but it's still really scary, it, it, like, really tests the limits of how you can control your fear, and, like, when something's really scary, you can either choose to just, like, hide in the theater and turn around and, like, cover your eyes, or you can just, like, stare at it and get absorbed in it as much as you can in the moment, and that's what I try to do, is I try to, like, get in the movie and, like, get as scared as possible. I find it really fun. So the same thing applies to life. Like, sometimes you want to just, you know, face your fear and challenge yourself and push your limits and try to improve a little bit. So I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Thank you for following us around. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video, which has already started, by the way. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.